two years after people. In Las Vegas, the climate of its Mojave Desert starts to produce a new kind of strange display as the parched desert reasserts itself. In the Mojave, we like to say water is life. In the time of humans, the city was lush with green gardens, fed by a water system holding nearly 700 million gallons in reservoir tanks scattered throughout the valley. Lake Mead, a primary water source, is 25 miles away. But without electric pumps, its water has been unable to reach the city. It rains only four and a half inches a year here, and little will grow naturally besides the scrub of the Mojave Desert. In Las Vegas, a city long known for giving second chances, a former star is making a surprise return engagement. Water. 50 years after people, rain has continued to fall in the surrounding mountains. Water from the mountains is flowing down to the Las Vegas Valley, where it permeates a porous layer below denser rock at the surface. 50 years after people, water will return to the valley in, in spots like this. This is an old well that was built in the early 20th century. And because of groundwater pumping, the, basically the soil just sank down, so about five feet all the way down to here. And when water returns 50 years after people, little holes like that will be where the water comes out of. Water's reappearance in Las Vegas will alter the landscape, but only gradually. Road. Three hundred years after people. While the skylines of most cities are stripped of their iconic towers, there are some surprises in Las Vegas. Seen from a distance, the desert has preserved much of the familiar skyline. But the artesian water that began bubbling to the surface 250 years ago is bringing new life to the ruins in the desert. It's kind of interesting to think about what life might be like in the valley after people. When water returns, the habitat will look very much like this area right here. We'll have quite a bit of vegetation growing around, scattered throughout the valley. It'll actually be quite lush. Plants like the western honey mesquite grow in clumps along the strip, wherever the water happens to flow.